Hello and welcome back to my channel Queen of Sheba. Today's video is a highly requested video. If you haven't been watching some of my videos or if you're new to my channel, welcome. Phil and I recently went to Hawaii and we had two weeks over there and it was absolutely amazing. If you haven't checked out our vlogs that we did over there, I'll link them below and, uh, and you can go and check them out. Uh, but we had a wonderful time in Hawaii and one of the great things that I love about Hawaii is the shopping. I'm not gonna lie people, I went nuts. I went completely out of control. Uh, I had so much fun shopping in Honolulu, in Waikiki, and also at Ala Moana Shopping Center. And I picked up quite, quite a lot of stuff. Yeah, quite a lot of stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna do this haul for you. If you don't like these sort of videos, you can just opt out now, that is no problem. I'm just gonna share with you a few of the things that I picked up whilst in Hawaii. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up when I was in Hawaii, this was actually the purchase that I got on the first day, uh, was from the Duty Free uh, Gallery. Um, and I went to the Celine shop um, and I got a handbag. And I have been looking at this handbag for probably about two years. And um, they're quite hard to find in Australia. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, ah, I better get it and actually I wasn't even looking for this handbag in this particular color um, but when I saw it I loved it it went with my outfit that I was wearing on the day and I picked it up and Phil was like oh you gotta have that so I was like I ain't gonna argue with that so I picked up this handbag um, here we go. So I got this lovely handbag, uh, which I absolutely love. I love the color. I think this is called the mini luggage tote, I believe. Um, and yeah, I haven't seen this color in Australia before. Um, not that I was really looking, to be honest. I originally wanted the black version and the bigger version, um, but I ended up with this one and I absolutely love it. And I think it's going to be amazing for work and for summer and even for winter as well. So. Yes, I am very excited about this handbag. I will try to link all the details below for you. And yeah, it's great, I love it. It's got like um, a zipper, which I love my handbags having zippers. So, um, you know, it just feels a little more secure. It's still got all the padding in here. Um, so let's just take that out. But I think it's just gonna be a really versatile bag. Um, there's so much room in there um, and there's great little compartments to the bag as well. So maybe I'll do a review of this bag or what's in my handbag down the track when I've used it a little bit. But yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked with this pickup actually because I have been in love with this bag for quite some time. I love Celine, I think they're really edgy and really cool. Um, and I have the trapeze uh, handbag in Celine as well. So this is the second Celine handbag to my collection and I'm very excited to have it. I hope you like it as well. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you is from my favorite store and I'm pretty excited about this one actually. Uh, so yes, I went to Chanel and um, I picked up something that I've been looking for for so long, um, shoes. I got a pair of shoes. Actually, I got two pairs of shoes. Yeah, I told you this is gonna be a big haul. Uh, so, all right, let's just, I'm gonna put this down because it's too heavy. Okay, so I am obsessed with Chanel espadrilles, like obsessed, and they're really, really hard to find. I actually saw their shoes in a magazine ages ago, and, um, and I couldn't find them in any Chanel in Australia. I had to ask if they had any espadrilles in, and they had two pairs out the back in the colors that I wanted and in my size. So what were the chances I had to go with it, right? I got these amazing espadrilles and I absolutely love them. But I was looking for these for so long, Astray just didn't have them when I was looking for them. Um, they're kind of lacy, so let me, if I take this out, you might be able to see it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, the, it's kind of like a, a cotton lace around here and love the CC logo at the front and then it's like a paint and leather here and then, then it's just like your standard kind of espadrille bottoms as well. But these shoes are so comfortable. I mean, I haven't worn these ones yet. I kind of am, I don't know, saving them for a special day. Um, but I wear my other espadrilles um, that I've shown in a previous haul before and I wear them to death. They are so, so comfortable and yeah, I think these are great. Um, I think they're a really lovely classic shoe and I'm really, really so happy that I found these and yeah, pretty stoked to have them part of my collection. Okay, so 
The next pair of shoes that I got from Chanel are also espadrilles uh, and I have been looking for these ones uh, for even longer because they are just the classic ones. Uh, you've probably all seen these ones before but I found it really hard uh, to find these. So I'm pretty stoked to have these classic black leather espadrilles in my collection now and they are so comfortable to wear. I was walking around the shop feeling very special and um, I'm pretty stoked that I finally found them and I can't believe they had one pair left and they're in my size so it was just kind of meant to be I think so yeah I'm pretty stoked with these ones as well so the next thing I want to show you is uh, something that I picked up in Burberry uh, now I was not expecting to buy anything like this whilst I was uh, in Hawaii and um, I when I was in Hawaii I actually found out that I need to go to New York for a couple of weeks um, in a couple of weeks so it's going to be freezing in New York and because I live in Australia I've never seen snow I've never experienced weather that cold I can't even imagine how cold it's going to be so I felt like I needed to pick up a really thick amazing warm coat um, and so I found this one in Burberry and I'm so stoked that I picked it up because I've been doing my research ever since I found out that I need to go and it looks pretty chilly uh, so I got myself this amazing uh, coat it's from the Burberry Brit line and it's um, it's made with goose down and it is so thick and it's so warm um, and yeah I absolutely love it it's also got this um, this little hood on it as well and that detaches if you don't want to wear it you can take it off which is cool and um, yeah it's just absolutely stunning I tried it on I loved it um, if you want to see my shopping experience at Burberry uh, you can check out my come to Hawaii with us video uh, part three I believe and you can see me in the store in El Moana shopping center uh, buying this and I had a really great experience um, the sales associate was lovely and um, you can also see on that video how to uh, this particular jacket the Burberry style way instead of so if you don't oh Bowie shush uh, so if you don't want to just you know buckle it up like that um, you can see on my other video how you can tie it a little bit more stylish so just a really practical coat and I'm gonna have this for so many years I think it's a real keeper I didn't mind spending this much money on something that's such a classic and something that I know will last for ages so yeah pretty stoked with my new Burberry coat Whilst I was in Burberry, I picked up a little something else as well. Actually, I brought two of these, one for myself and one for my dad, uh, because I thought he would really like one as well. I got him the men's style and I got the lady style. Um, and I've always wanted one of these actually and uh, just have never got around to, to getting it but because I do have to go to New York and it's going to be cold, I thought it was a really good excuse to pick one up. So, I love this bag too, isn't it? Just like an awesome bag. I love the gold. I love gold. The classic Burberry scarf and it's in cashmere and it feels so amazing. I love it. I cannot wait to wear this. I can't wait for it to be super cold because it's probably the hottest day in Australia at the moment. In Melbourne today it is 43 degrees. It is so hot. I'm sitting here in aircon but my lights are quite warm so if I'm saying to go red I haven't overdone it with the blush, it's just quite warm today. So yeah, I love this scarf, it's such a classic. So I think it's gonna come in very handy when I go to New York in a couple of weeks time. I got a little something from Dior. Actually, this was something that Phil picked up for me uh, one day when we were in Waikiki. He saw me try these on and I really liked them and then he went back and surprised me with them later, which I thought was really, really sweet um, and very generous of him. So um, I got a new pair of sunglasses. I've always been one of those people that just kind of wear one pair of sunglasses at a time. Up until now, you know, now I've got a nice collection. I'm starting to get a nice collection of sunglasses. Comes in this little box here. And um, they are so cool and they're a little bit of fun. Uh, so yeah, I got these sunglasses. They're white on this side. It's got the little Dior logo here. And uh, yeah, I think they're really, really fun. So I'll pop them on for you so you can see what they're like. Um, and yeah, they're just a little bit different for me actually, but I really like them and Phil liked them and he picked them up for me. So I thought that was really lovely of him. So thank you very much, Phil. 
that was very sweet of you. Is it time to show you guys another handbag? I think it is. So I picked up a little bag from Dior. Now I was looking for a classic handbag in maybe a beige or a pinky color. And I thought I would probably pick up a handbag uh, from Chanel, um, like one of their classic kind of single flap or double flap um, handbags. But I did have a look in there, but I've really just, I don't know, I felt I've already got um, the double flap in the black with the gold hardware in the jumbo size. And it just felt a little bit too much to buy two of the same handbags in different colors, which is fine. I hope one day I can afford to do that. Um, but I kind of just wanted to mix it up a little bit. And it was actually Phil that saw this handbag in the window and I was actually at Sephora and I got a text message from Phil and he said, you have to go and have a look at the handbag that's in the window of Dior. I think you'll really like it. And he was so right, he's so on point and he totally knows what I love um, and he got it so right. As soon as I saw this handbag, I fell in love and I had to have it and yeah. All right, let's open it. It didn't come in a box because I was traveling and it was just too hard. So they just put it in a dust bag for me and wrapped it in a lot of tissue paper. Here is my gorgeous new handbag uh, that I picked up from Dior, from uh, the Waikiki store in Honolulu, and I think it's so gorgeous. It's a pinky beige color. It's with rose gold hardware, similar to the Chanel handbags. Uh, the strap can either be worn uh, long and crossbody as well, or you can wear it over your shoulder like that as well. And I just think it's so gorgeous. Um, it's still got all its stuff inside, um, so I'll take it out and we can show you. It's got the little Christian Dior Paris logo in gold there. And then when you look inside, I love the lining, it's so cool. Um, it's got purple lining. I just think this is such a classic handbag. It's got a little zipper on the back as well. I just love this colour, it's so feminine, so girly, it's so classic and I'm really, really excited to have this handbag part of my collection. I will probably do a what's in my handbag or a handbag review on this after I've used it for a little while. Isn't it stunning? Absolutely love this bag. So, oh, and I'm actually doing um, this video from my new dressing room and I know I've had so many requests to do a tour of this room. So today's just a little sneak peek, um, but I will definitely do a tour for you very, very soon. Okay, so next thing I'll show you is a pair of shoes that I picked up from Jimmy Choo. And uh, these shoes actually, I already owned these shoes in beige, but when I went into Jimmy Choo, they were having a sale on. And um, I saw these shoes uh, in a different color and they are so comfortable to wear. And so I saw these shoes in gold and I thought I better have them. And they were, on sale as well so we love that I think they were I think actually I picked up my pair of these from Saks online for about 650 Australian dollars maybe 700 and I got these for 300 American dollars so I was pretty stoked with that little bargain and they're really really comfortable and I got these pair of wedges from Jimmy Choo in gold and they're pretty high so they make me super super tall. They're pretty amazing. Love the gold. I think they'll be great for summer. Oh and check out the soles. Aren't they cool? They've got like stars on the soles. I'm a sucker for stars. Love stars. A little bit obsessed with stars. Actually my necklace that I'm wearing has stars too. Um, and I picked up this necklace uh, from Michael Kors. And I'm just loving the really fine jewellery at the moment. So I got this matching little star bracelet as well and it has the little crystals it has the little crystals on each star um, as well I don't know if that's focusing I don't know if that's focusing or not but um, yeah it's so fine and it's so gorgeous and yeah I love that I've got this little matching um, bracelet to go with this Nicholas Phil actually picked this one out as well he loves anything with stars too and yeah I think it's really gorgeous I don't know if you can see that um, and also from Michael Kors, I'm really loving like yellow gold and rose gold at the moment. Um, and I wanted to get a new watch. I've got a few watches, um, but I wanted just to get sort of a gold two-toned color watch. Um, so 
I did pick up a new watch from Michael Kors uh, as well and it looks like this and it's uh, yellow gold and um, and I guess silver as well and yeah I just think it's a really lovely classic watch and I really like the pop of gold because all my rings are platinum um, I didn't want to go completely yellow gold or rose gold but I did want to get something that's two-toned so I could wear um, wear it with anything. Yeah, I think it's just a really lovely classic watch and um, yeah, pretty stoked to um, to have found this as well. And this was also on sale. I'm not sure what it was reduced down to, but I think it ended up costing about $200 American. And actually the next two pieces of clothing that I picked up from Michael Kors were also on sale. So that was really fun. The first thing that I got, and actually Phil picked this out for me, is this really long dress and you wear it with a little black slip underneath it and it is gorgeous i cannot wait to wear this um it's totally me i love a long sleeve dress i love a long dress it's very flowy you can wear a belt to cinch it in at the waist uh, you can tie this and a little bow. It's really, really long, goes straight uh, to the floor. And because I am quite tall, I can get away with wearing dresses like this, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I love this. Love the um, print, the animal print on it as well. And this was on sale. Um, I got it in a small and it was $195 and I got it for $97.50. So I thought that was a good little bargain especially for like an evening dress um, and then whilst I was in Michael Kors I also picked up a little top which I thought would be really really handy for work um, I love gold like black and gold together I think it looks so classy and chic uh, and I got this long top as well and I thought it would look really great with some tights and some boots um, or you could even just wear it with jeans like black jeans as well um, and maybe some gold accessories and yeah I love that this can tie up in a little bow as well or you can just leave it hanging whatever you like but I love the gold detail so I think it would look really lovely with this handbag you've seen this handbag of mine before um, but yeah don't you just see that go so lovely together just completely classic black and gold and some bright pink or bright red lips I think would go beautifully with this and yeah I'm excited to wear this I think it'd be a great work dress yeah. actually this was on sale as well uh, it was 325 it started at and I got it for 162.50 so love a bargain love a bargain Hey, whilst we're on clothes I'll show you we went into Macy's and I love Macy's sometimes you can just pick up a great bargain we had to go into Macy's because we needed another suitcase whilst we're in there I got a few little things I got this very girly dress um, which I think is really kind of like Stevie Nicks inspired, very sort of hippie but kind of girly and chic at the same time. And I thought this would look really sweet with some like little brown ankle boots. And I thought it would go lovely as well with my new um, Dior handbag as well. I think it kind of goes really well together. I love um, the lace detailing here and on the arms. I think it's really, really sweet and just a really lovely little dress to wear to like high tea with your mom or your girlfriend. Actually, Phil saw this as well. He's such a good shopper. He's a very patient man. But yeah, Phil saw this and was like, oh, that looks kind of cute. So yeah, picked that up. Whilst I was also in Macy's, I also picked up this dress, which I thought would be great for work. I'm really loving navy, navy and gold, black and gold, navy and gold. And it's from a designer called Mason Jewels. I haven't heard of this designer before either, but I love how it cinches in at the waist here and you can tie a little bow. I am quite high-waisted so I love things that come in tight at the waist to kind of, I don't know, show off that kind of hourglass figure because I do have a very womanly body, uh, that is for sure. I have hips, people. Hips. It's definitely going to come in very handy when I one day have a child. So yeah, I got this. Thought it was really cute and uh, yeah, excited to wear this to work when I go back next week. I also went into J. Crew, uh, and I love J. Crew clothes. Actually, I think the quality is amazing. And I picked up a few just kind of basic jumpers from there because I felt they'd come in really handy when I go to New York. Uh, so the first one I got was just a really simple classic navy jumper which I think will be really warm in New so York. So it's really great quality from J. Crew. This is wool and yeah. I love navy. I think it's going to be very toasty under my Burberry coat. So yeah, I'm excited to take this away with me. Uh, and also I picked up a slightly longer um, sweater, jumper as we like to call it here. And it's a little bit bigger and it's just a little bit more kind of 
not sloppy but just a little bit more relaxed I think so I think that will be great with jeans love this color uh, I got this in an extra small because it is quite a big jumper this is wool as well and this wasn't on sale but I got it for $89.50 it's hot in here people I had to stop and had to go and get a drink so please feel free to have a break hmm Next thing that I want to show you is something from this place, from Prada. I told you this was a massive haul. I got this from the Duty Free Prada store and um, yeah, you save quite a lot when you don't pay tax duty. So uh, what you do is you go and purchase it from the store in the Duty Free area and they take down your, um, your traveling details and then when you depart, uh, from your travel destination, uh, the duty free people meet you at the gate and they hand you your purchase. It comes in this gorgeous little box, beautiful tissue paper, and I got a wallet on a chain. I love these so much. Uh, they're so incredibly handy when you go shopping or when you're traveling, and I just loved this color. Again, it's kind of like a beigey pinkish kind of color and I just love the gold hardware on it um, it is pretty big inside so you're gonna fit all your cards and your cash and your coins in here um, and you can also fit your mobile phone in there as well so it's really handy so I'm gonna love wearing this cross body uh, just like on the shoulder and I just think it's a gorgeous a uh, little wallet on the chain. I was looking at the wallet on the chains in Chanel, but I don't know, they're gorgeous and I love them and I would absolutely love to have one one day, uh, but I just find it really hard to justify $2,000, $2,500 on a wallet on a chain. Essentially, it's a wallet and you're paying for the chain. Um, and I just I just think it's too much to spend on a wallet on a chain. Yeah. This wallet on a chain was about $900 around that figure i can't remember exactly i'm so sorry um if you are interested leave a message below and i'll go through all my receipts and i'll find it for you um but yeah i think it will come in very very handy i think it's very chic and elegant and yeah i think it's gorgeous so i hope you guys like it as well oh i forgot to show you something else that i got in michael kors as well i got a little uh wallet and this is really cute i got one for my mum last year when i was in america and she uses it all the time and it's just this cute little kind of wrist wallet um you can take it off and just wear it like that but it's really handy if you're just running to the shops um because you can fit your iphone in there or your cash and your cards and yeah i think it's really really cute still got the price in it it was on sale oh that was good of me um but it is called susanna i guess that's the uh, the name of this particular wallet, Susanna. It's in black, um, embossed leather, and it was $128, and I got it for $89.60. So, nice little bargain there. Oh, I got some perfume, actually. Nothing huge, because I did get some perfume from my mum for Christmas, which I was very excited about. I got the bottle of the Gardenia Chanel, and I love it. Uh, but I wanted some little perfumes um, for travel, uh, just some little ones that I could, you know, put in my handbag and for work. Uh, so I picked up this little classic. Uh, I've got it in a bigger bottle, but I did just want it in like a little travel size. Uh, so I got the Chanel number no. five, and it's just a gorgeous little travel kind of size. And um, yeah, I love it. I love Chanel number no. five. It's just such a classic, isn't it? Also. I picked up uh, the Coco uh, Mademoiselle um, travel perfume as well, and this is really cool. Actually, I think Jerusha has this as well. I've seen her um, have this, and it's great. And it's just like comes like this, and all you do is just twist, and it comes up. So how cool is that? It's just awesome for your handbag. Just twist it, and yeah, you spray it like that. Oh, so good. So it comes with this little box and inside you have two refills. So they look like this. Two little refills that just, I think you just take the bottom off and they go in like that. And yeah, I think that's gorgeous. Such a beautiful gift for somebody. And um, perfect for your handbag, perfect for your work bag or if you're traveling and you don't want to take a big bottle with you. And uh, yeah, it's just, I think it's just so cool. I could do that all day. That, the twist. Ah. Oh. So satisfying. And the next few things that I got were from Ralph Lauren. 
And these are actually for my nephew. Um, and they're just so cute. He's the cutest little kid. He's about 18 months old, uh, but he's fitting into like size two. Ralph Lauren do such cute little baby clothes. So yeah, I got him this little t-shirt. And then I got him this little shirt as well. So cute. And these little pads to go with it as well. Oh my gosh. How adorable is that as an outfit, right? So, so cute. Oh my gosh. He's so spoiled. I love it. Uh, and just this little plain red shirt for him as well. And uh, I couldn't resist. This jumper was so cute. He had to have this. It just looks so warm and cozy. Uh, so I picked that up for him as well. I got this in a size 3 because it is summer in Australia. So I thought once it gets to winter, he'll probably be a little bit bigger. Oh, and then I picked this jacket up for him too because it does get cold in Melbourne. Not to New York standards or anything like that, but it does get pretty cold. It does snow up in the mountains, so it does. Melbourne really has like four seasons in one day. So I picked him up this little jacket um, and I got this in a size 3 as well. Um, and I just thought he would be so cozy in that for winter. So yeah, I think he's going to love those. Also, when I was in Chanel, I picked up this little mirror. I don't know whether you guys have seen these or not, but um, a couple of the girls at work have one and I really wanted one to just have in my handbag. Uh, it's just a little Chanel um, mirror. That's all it is. That's all it is, people. But I just think just, you know, pulling that out of your, your fancy little handbag is just so chic. Um, so I picked up a couple of these as gifts. They're like $49 um, and yeah, I got one for my sister and one for my mom as well. But then I went into Bed Bath & Body Works because we don't have Bed Bath & Body Works in Australia and I was so jealous by all the YouTubers that I see with their amazing candles. Uh, and I went in there and they didn't have like a huge range of candles left. I think they must have sold out over Christmas so they just kind of had the Christmas scented candles left. Uh, but I did pick up a few things from their... Um, from their relaxation range and stress range. Uh, so I just got a few little things for the bath. Um, I got this sleep uh, lavender vanilla luxury bath, uh, bubble bath. Um, and I have a really hard time sleeping. Uh, so I thought that would be nice to have a little hot bath and hopefully it will encourage me to go to sleep. Um, and then I also got uh, this body wash and a foam bath as well in the sleep range. And I also got this uh, stress relief uh, vanilla body wash and body foam as well. Um, and it says relax and unwind. Vanilla essential oil has a smoothing effect on your body and mind. Next couple of things are just a few casual tops that I picked up. Um, I got this from the Vans shop for when I want to be a little bit of a rock chick. Um, so it's a bit rock and roll, Vans off the wall. It's really not me. But like, when, sometimes when I go to Phil's like pub gigs, I go a little bit too preppy and girly and, um, and I stand way out. But sometimes I like to go a little bit rock chick. So yeah, I picked this up. It's really kind of big and sloppy and yeah, it's very comfy, but I'll probably also sleep in this as well, to be honest. But yeah, I, kind of, I thought it was kind of cute. Um, so I got that and then I just got a simple black and white jumper. Uh, from H&M, which is just really, really cozy. I am such a sucker for a black and white stripe. It was really cheap. I can't even remember how much it was. Maybe like $23 or something like that. Um, so yeah, that will come in handy for when I go to New York. I'll probably wear it on the plane because it's so cozy and comfy. Then, oh, surprise, surprise, I got another stripe top. <laughs> um, this is from Vans as well. And it's just really, you know, it's just one of those comfy, around the house kind of jumpers um, and it's really thin and lightweight. I had so much fun at Sephora uh, when I was in Hawaii. I picked up like, so much stuff. I'm not going to do a reveal of everything in here on this video. This is going to have to be a standalone video. I became a VIP member, like the ultra VIP member, like straight away. And I, But I really stocked up on stuff that I needed for like, I don't know, this is going to last me like all year, I think. It's it's pretty amazing. Uh, there's a few brands that we can't get in Australia, so I totally stocked up. So this will be my next video, people. I will share with you uh, what I got in Sephora. So I think that wraps up this video, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, and I'll try to get back to you. And let me know if you like the vlog 
uh, videos as well. I've been getting some really nice feedback from the vlogs that we did in Hawaii. I am off to Hong Kong, uh, Silicon Valley, uh, San Francisco and New York and Boston in the next couple of weeks. So let me know if you want me to vlog from those places. Um, I'm going over there for work and I'm really excited. It's a massive trip for me and my business and uh, I'm really excited to get over there. So let me know if you want me to vlog whilst I'm there. If you guys want me to, I will definitely do my best. So I hope you're well and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Woo. All right. That is a wrap. Woohoo.